Next is problem number six. This a stock costing rupees 150 pays no dividend. So you have to read this sentence carefully. So in one sentence there are two information that is a stock costing rupees 150 pays no dividend. So two parts are there. Next the stock may be sold at the end of the year with the respective probabilities are. So they have given the stock which can be sold at the end of the year. So the first column price is given but they have not told at the beginning or at the end in the column but in the sentence it is given that is at the end of the year then the probability. So first line stock costing 150. The 150 is nothing but the market price that is the one you are going to find at the uh, beginning and the remaining is the end of the value. So you have to be very careful by looking at it. Then you are required to calculate expected returns and SD of returns. So again in this problem the returns is not given. First we have to find the returns. Then we have to go for calculation of expected returns and standard deviation. So here let us go for calculation. Market price at the end of the year. 130, 150, 160, 165, 175, 180. Pays no dividend, so dividend is 0. Then minus market price at the beginning that is given in the uh, problem in the beginning it is given costing rupees 150 at the beginning 150 so which value to be substituted where you have to be careful and understand so here 130 minus 150 minus 20 150 and minus 150 is 0, 160 minus 150 is 10, 165 minus 150 is 15, 175 minus 150 25, 180 minus 150 is 30. So this is the one which is to be taken for the main table for calculation of expected return and standard deviation. So minus 20. 0, 10, 15, 25 and 30. Then from the problem we have to substitute here the probability values which is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.18, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Again we have to check the total of this probability should be 1. So then multiply the returns in probability R into P. R into P when we multiply minus 20 into 0 0.2 minus 4. Anything multiplied with 0 is 0. 10 into 0.1 is 1. 15 into 0.3 is 4.5. Then 25 into 0 0.1 is 2.5 30 into 0 0.2 is 6 Then we have to be careful here We got a minus value First we have to add all the plus values Then minus 4 When you do you get 10 So if you add all these You are getting plus 14 This is going to be minus 4 Plus 14 minus 4 is equal to 10 this is where you have to be careful. So expected return is 10. Next, deviation square. R minus ER. Let me substitute the R values first. Minus 20, 0, 10, 15, 25 and 30. Then expected returns. 
टेन टू गो फॉर स्क्वायर ऑफ इट We have to be careful here. Minus twenty, minus ten. That is equal to minus thirty whole square. So minus thirty into minus thirty is nine hundred. So here it is going to be minus ten. Minus ten into minus ten is hundred. So here it is zero. Zero square is zero only. Then five square. It becomes twenty-five. Fifteen square is two twenty-five. Twenty square is equal to four hundred. So we have to be careful when you are getting minus, and we have to work carefully. Otherwise, we have to write separately and rework it. Next. Go for weighted deviation square. First, let me substitute probabilities. Probabilities I have taken from this particular column. I substituted over here. Multiplied with the deviations. So when you multiply, you get here for the first one 0.2 into 900, 180. Next ten, next zero, 7.5, 22.5, and 80. All of rest values only. Add all weighted average, weighted deviation square. When you add, you are going to get. Uh, Three hundred. Three hundred is the variance. Square root of three hundred will be the SD value. Seventeen point three two percent. 